For the covered call strategy, it involves a long position in the underlying. And then you'll need a uh, you need to write a call option. And in this case, the payoff diagram of the strategy looks like this. We have the profit and loss. Okay, this is zero, and then this is the spot price at expiration. And of course, uh, with the okay, you have a flat horizontal line here, and then there is a downward line. And this point here is the exercise price of the call option. So to make things easy, I I always just remember the strategy and also how the payoff diagram looks like so that we can identify where the maximum profit is. For example, at this point here, this is your maximum profit. And then this point here is your break even price. And when the share price drops all the way to zero, in this case, this is your maximum loss. Now let's see how we compute all this. So let's say we have a stock that is selling for $90 and there's a three month call option on the stock with an exercise price of $100. Okay, and it's selling for $7. So you implement a covered call strategy. So calculate the value of the position at expiration and the profit at expiration under the following outcomes. If the price of the stock at expiration is $110.80. So without using the formula, okay, we'll just implement the strategy. So we'll have to long the stock. Okay, so in this case, and then we will write or we will write the call. Okay, with an exercise price of $100. So at time zero, if you long the stock, you have the asset value is one hundred uh, is $90. And then you write a call, which is a form of liability. So the value of the call is $7. So that's minus seven. So with this, we have the initial value of your covered call, which is $83. And then fast forward, okay, to let's say that three months later, the spot price is let's say 110. So in this case, the stock value will be 110. And then for the call option, since the spot price 110 is higher than $100, so the call option can be exercised. Okay, so the payoff is 110 minus $100. But don't forget, you wrote the call, so it's a liability to you. So you have to pay $10 to the party that you sold the option to. So the total value of this covered call will be 110 minus 10. So that's back to $100. So if you compare the change in the value, so we get we then get the profit, which is the change in value, 100 minus 83. So that's $17. And for B, okay, if the price is $80, so of course the long stock value will be 80. And in this case, 80 is below the exercise price of 100, so the call cannot be exercised, so that's zero. So the value of the covered call is $80 at expiration. And the profit is the change in value, which is a loss of $3. So that's how we compute the gain and loss, just by knowing the strategy and knowing whether the call can be exercised or not, bearing in mind that in this case it is a liability, we denote it as negative. If it's an asset, we denote it as a plus. To calculate the maximum profit of the covered call, just remember that the maximum profit is achieved when the spot price is greater than the exercise price, which in this case is $100. So all we need to do is just select a value, okay, just choose a price that is higher than 100. For example, we did it with 110. I could do it with probably 120, just to try it out. So in this case, uh, the if the stock price goes up to 120, which is arbitrary, then the call option can be exercised. So there will be a value 120 minus 100. So that's 20, but it's negative since it's a liability to us. So the value will still go back to $100, which is the exercise price of the call. And the profit will be 100 minus 83. So that's back to $17. Okay, so we don't have to memorize the formula here. Okay, you just have to know when the maximum profit is achieved. To calculate the maximum loss of the covered call, just have to remember that that maximum loss is, is arrived when the spot price goes all the way to zero. So in this case, if I assume the spot price becomes zero, theoretically, at the expiration, then the call option, of course, is less than the exercise price, so it cannot be exercised. So the value of the covered call will be zero. So the change in the value will give us the gain. So zero minus 83 means that we will lose all the, the we will lose $83, which is the initial value of your covered call, because that's how much you have invested net. 
Now to calculate the break-even price, just remember that this point here is your break-even price and at this particular price here is below the exercise price of the call which means the call option cannot be exercised. So we are trying to look for this spot price here, okay, which is the break-even price. So assuming that the call cannot be exercised, so the call payoff will be zero. So we'll need to find out what is this break-even price, okay? So that will be ST, which will be the value of your covered call. So with this, the gain will be the spot price that we are trying to look for minus the initial value. And it has to be equal to zero because it's break-even price, so profit is zero. So what is your spot price equals to? That's $83. So in this case, your break-even price is 83 and we can test it out. So if I substitute $83 into the whole working again, so this is 83. 83 is less than $100, so we cannot exercise the call. So your covered call position is $83. And if you take the change in the value, 83 minus 83, so your gain will be zero. Okay, so that's that shows us that the, uh, the spot price here is the break-even price because your profit is zero.